Hello there everybody, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel and today uh, we're going to undertake part four of the Crusader File Manager for KDE Plasma and we're going to talk about directory synchronization and directory um, comparison and so let's get into it and we'll take a look at that right after this. Now let's look at reason number two that uh, I think you should be using uh, Crusader File Manager, and that is directory synchronization. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and combine that with reason number three, since they are closely related. And that is number three reason is directory comparison. So let's take a look at both of those in the next section. Okay, I'm back out on my Farron OS Linux system, and I'm in uh, my Crusader file manager, and I've got the left pane here and the right pane up. Left pane being the local file system, the right pane being uh, my remote file system at my personal cloud, uh, 192.168.1.157. I'm in the public side of that, public directory, for which I have uh, permission to access. Yeah, that's critical if you're using a remote file system. Um, and so today what I want to do is show the synchronization and comparison of directories and how that works in Crusader. But before I get into that, I want to mention that I had a comment from a, a subscriber by the name of Richard, and I appreciate all comments, by the way. Um, he asked me, isn't it true or is it true that uh, Thunar will allow you to have a dual pane like this? Um, because he thought that Dolphin and Nemo did. And he is correct. Dolphin and Nemo does have now the left and right pane, okay? However, not natively uh, out of the box. In other words, if you open up Dolphin or if you open up Nemo, you're not going to get the dual pane. You'll, you'll have to uh, select an option to split the screen. Um, but it will let you do that. It will let you copy files to and from. It will let you link files in either direction. So it will do that. Thunar, however, to my knowledge, does not give you that capability. And if you are a subscriber and you do know that Thunar will let you do that, yeah, please let me know and uh, I'll take a look at it. I do have Thunar installed. All right, so let's get into today's uh, demonstration. Uh, it is on comparing directories and synchronizing. And since they are closely related in Crusader, I'm, I'm just going to take those together. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get down here on the local side and I'm going to make a directory called temporary. Okay. And so now that temporary directory is popped up, I'm going to open up that directory and I'm going to create a new file here, new text file. And I'm going to call it uh, test file one. Okay. Click OK. Opens it up. This is a test file. All right. Save that and close it. So that's test file one. All right, I'm going to come up and I want to take and left click and drag and drop temporary over here to the public side and copy it. All right, so it copied that temporary directory. I want to go ahead and open up that temporary directory. You see, we have the test file one. We demonstrated that in the previous video. I'm going to create a new direct, a new file rather, new text file. Call that test file two. Okay. So we now have test file one and two. Let me go ahead and open that up and uh, put in this is another test file. All right. Let's save that. So we have content in that file. And now we have two files over here, and we only have one file over here so we we can clearly see that this temporary directory is larger than this one now let's assume for a moment that this is not that easy to, to, to notice the difference or to compare let's say that we had hundreds of files in each one of these directories and uh, we just don't know what the difference is between the two um, by just making it this as simple as possible just by having two files in one and one file in the other now, why is that important that you compare the files first 
or directories first before you synchronize? Well, it's important because if I synchronize in this direction from local to public, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to overwrite the temporary directory in the public side, and it's only going to have one file in it. You're going to lose the second file. All right. However, if you compare the two first, uh, before you synchronize, you're going to notice that the difference is that this particular directory has an additional file in it. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to synchronize from the public side to the private, to the local side rather, uh, instead of the other way around. That way you'll overwrite this particular side and you will uh, have two files in the local file system and two files in the remote and you won't lose anything. All right, so that's very important. Let's come back up uh, and let's assume for a moment, as I said, that we have no idea how these are different. And so what we're going to do is we're going to compare the two first and then we're going to synchronize. All right, so let's come up to tools and let's come down to synchronize folders and let's open that up. And this is the synchronizer window. We're on the synchronizer tab and we're at home data pioneer and here we're on the uh, remote file uh, system side which is the public directory of my personal cloud. So let's click this folder here on the left side, come down and select the temporary directory. So now that we're looking at home data pioneer temporary directory, and then let's come over to this folder, click it, and let's expand the public side and come down to the temp temporary here and click OK. All right, so now we're looking at both the temporary directory on the left and the temporary directory on the right. And before we uh, synchronize those, all right, let's compare. So let's do a comparison. And say, and so when we click the compare button, you'll notice that it's telling us that there's a test file two in this directory on this side that doesn't exist in this one. How do we know that? Is it, well, first of all, it highlights it that it's blue and there's an arrow pointing to the left-hand side. So it's saying, You've got something in here that you don't have here. So do you want to synchronize from here to here, or do you want to synchronize from here to here? All right. So let's uh, let's tell it we want to synchronize in the direction it's pointing, which is the to the left. And so we're going to synchronize the directory, temporary directory on the right hand side, to the temporary directory on the left hand side by hitting this synchronize button. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to go ahead and synchronize that when we click the start button. All right, and so I did it. All right, so now that we, if we open up the temporary directory on the left-hand side, we should see we have two files, and we do. We open up the temporary directory on the right-hand side, we have two files. And so what it did was it synchronized both directories uh, on the local and remote file system. And we did it in the proper way, which is we compared the two directories first. We noticed this one was larger because it told us that, although we didn't save the search, and we'll do that in a, in a subsequent video. Uh, we did notice that there was a difference, and so we uh, are synchronizing to the right hand from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, and that's what we did here, and that's the proper way to do it. And so we accomplished what we were looking for, and that is compare the files or directories first, looking at the files within those directories, and then synchronize in the proper direction here on the right-hand side to the left. All right, so we'll take a look at the next reason that we need to, um, or that we should be using the Crusader File Manager in the next video.